working with test tubes. This is a test tube. Anything else in the lab that you see that's not exactly that shape is not a test tube. That's a test tube. Test tubes are often used to hold and mix reagents. And this is a test tube rack used to hold test tubes. This is a uh, this is actually called a rack, like I said. This is, this gets kind of confusing. This is a test tube holder. This is a rack, this is a holder. Test tube racks hold a bunch of them. Test tube holders hold one of them. And so these are kind of springy. You squeeze to open it and you let it take them up like that. Now, <clears throat> in general, if a test tube is hot or uh, anything like that, you're going to want to use or if you have a reaction going on inside of it, you want to use a test tube holder uh, before you pick it up, not with your bare hands. Also, whenever you are holding a test tube, if you are going to heat it over a flame or if you're going to have a chemical reaction going inside of it or anything like that, you want to be safe because you're never sure what's going to happen. A lot of times these things can bubble and they can foam and they can pop and so you never want to be looking like this because if something bad happens, it's going to squirt right out into my head. I don't want that. So you should always treat these like loaded guns. You should always point them away from things that you do not wish to kill. Uh, also, you should not wish to kill anyone in here. Um, so, for example, if we were going to heat this up, which is not a good idea in an empty test tube, it'll just get really hot. That, for, But if you were going to do that, you would, uh, you would angle it. Uh, you would angle it away from yourself away from the other group, just towards an empty wall over there. It's always towards the wall. So always be thinking, well, if that shot out right now, where would it go? Would that hurt anyone? And so that's what you want to do. So for heating it over a flame or for a chemical reaction, always kind of angle it slightly away from yourself towards the wall. And that's how you stay safe with test tubes.